Thanks very much, Kerry. And I must say I do echo uh, those sentiments uh, with respect to most commodities uh, in the market, uh, particularly the resources sector. Uh, being a Perth boy, I can certainly tell you that uh, Perth as a city has, has changed immensely over the last uh, 24 months. And uh, there's certainly a feeling in the air that uh, there's going to be a sustained run uh, on the demand structures for most of our metals. So, ladies and gentlemen, today really is about uh, Mr James Darns. Uh, I'm here to give a quick overview of Unix, a company we're exploring uh, in Australia and Africa, as uh, mentioned by uh, Kerry. Uh, as corporate snapshot, uh, the company's share price is uh, trading around 28 today. Uh, we're capped at around 30 mil market cap. Uh, we've had a 12-month high of uh, 35 cents. Uh, we are listed on ASX. Uh, the most recent uh, information or, or, or most important brief uh, uh, information released by the company is the uh, commencement of a 5,000 metre drilling program at Makuji, which we'll have a look at in a second. Shareholders, IMX Resources, R&L, um, Explorer, uh, holding 27%, Acorn Capital, uh, it's a Melbourne-based uh, institution, it's holding 12%, uh, sorry, and the Geiger Fund, a uranium-focused uh, London-based uh, institution, is holding around 8%, so it's a very good, strong uh, shareholder base of institutions and certainly uh, participators in the, uh, in the resources sector. So a quick overview of the uh, pipeline of projects we have. Um, we have three projects uh, in Australia, one in the Northern Territory, two in Western Australia, and uh, we have three projects in Tanzania, one of which will be the focus today, and that is uh, the Makuju project, uh, a rail front uranium uh, project uh, in southern Tanzania. The project area covers around 5,000 square kilometres. It's a, it's a massive land holding. Um, we have had some RC results from... 2008 and 2009 that are indicating uh, significant uh, mineralisation. You can see six metres over 1400 ppm um, is, uh, is quite, a, quite a healthy intersection as an indication of uh, potential uh, tabular type deposits and again potential rail front type deposits at depth. Uh, importantly the project is adjacent to Mantra Resources Makuja River project. Um, this is a project which is going through a bankable feasibility study. Uh, it holds 84 million pounds of uranium at 450 ppm. Um, our recent drilling, which we'll look at, is indicating similar styles of mineralisation. That company is valued at $800 million. And as uh, we move towards this uh, 5,000 metre drilling program, it's certainly fingers crossed that, uh, that we're hitting the same type of mineralisation. If that is the case, then, uh, then uh, we're certainly doing our shareholders a favour. Quick photo of the mineralisation style. Uranium uh, roll fronts really need uh, an oxidised uh, portion of, uh, of land and certainly a reduced portion of land within sandstones. And you can see that's quite a, uh, quite a descriptive uh, uh, photo of, uh, of the type of mineralisation which is present within our project area. So the drilling at the moment, we've commenced 5,000 metres of diamond RC and auger drilling at uh, Makuju. There's three main zones which you can see in those yellow, oops, you can see in those yellow squares there just around here. Uh, we have released results uh, of our first hole uh, we are targeting, um, as I mentioned before, high-grade uranium within these three zones, only over about five kilometres. As we mentioned previously, the land holding is 5,000 square kilometres, so it's, it's, uh, it's a portion of it. Some of the grades are around 5,900 ppm. Um, these are from portable XRF uh, analysis, so it's, it's certainly shaping up to be uh, a pretty interesting program. Uh, just a couple of shots of the core, which you can see the green, or the, the small green minerals. In the core is uranium. Uh, the drilling is progressing as planned. Um, we'll be releasing information to the market uh, as and when those results uh, are compiled and certainly, uh, certainly are put together into a geological model that the, that the team are happy with. Uh, we'll also be supporting that with Airborne AM, certainly to map our channels uh, and to uh, define even more targets throughout the area. <coughs> so again, just a quick summary. Uh, we, we're an emerging uranium company, um, exploration and development. Uh, we do hold 49 million pounds of uranium uh, resource uh, in the bank, so to speak, and with our new uh, focus on Makuju, uh, we're quite excited about the prospect of, uh, of hopefully finding something similar to what Mantra's found um, at their project. Uh, there has been a new board uh, management team um, installed over the last couple of months, so in effect it has been a bit of a turnaround or an exercise in turnaround and, uh, and change management. This has started to work quite well with a focus on a new exciting exploration project. Our strategic review really just implemented a, quite a simple three-point plan to 
really reduce the uh, cash burned, focus on our high grade targets and to, uh, and to certainly uh, build relationships with uh, end users in Korea, Japan and China. Uh, it's a pipeline project, so there's a lot of variation within the portfolio. Uh, project at uh, PFS stage, one at scoping study stage, and of course our uh, Bakuju project, which is shaping up to be a very, uh, very exciting exploration play. That 5,000 metre drilling program should be finished by uh, end of November, early December, and hence uh, we're, we're quite excited about releasing uh, those results at some stage. And again, of course, it's all about the market. The uranium price has jumped. Over the last uh, couple of months, it's moved from 42 to 58. On the last week, it jumped 52 to 58. Um, I was fortunate enough to have listed a couple of uranium companies um, during the, the early part of the, the boom, I guess you could say, or the renaissance, uh, and uh, watching the price move from $18 to $25 uh, almost overnight, we felt was amazing, but then seeing it run all the way to $120 uh, was even more amazing. So that really is the summary of Uranex. I hope you have a look at the company. Um, it's a good, strong, young management team. Um, we're very excited about the Makuja drilling program and uh, results will be released to the market in due course. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, the most important thing we're here for today and certainly what we're very excited about is introducing Mr. James Dines. Mr. Dines is a visionary in the markets and if you have had a chance to read his five books or his newsletter, you will know why. Mr. Dyer's lost his job as a senior security analyst after predicting that the price of gold would rise above the government fixed price of $35 an ounce. So all of these today at around $1,300 an ounce, it's quite, quite extraordinary. Silver again at 90 cents. Hence why he's known as the original gold and silver bug. More recently, Mr. Dines has predicted the internet, uranium and rare earth Super Bowl markets. Not a bad uh, string of predictions. Mr. Dines taught us that whether you're rich or poor, it's always good to have a lot of cash. He serves his readers and the public in high states. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Dines. 